Today's video is about application of food enzymes in bakery industry. There are many examples of bakery products. However, bread is the most common and popular. There are more than 30 types of breads depending on the location and culture. All the types of bread have two common aspects, the raw materials and some processing steps. Let's look into the constraint of the flow because the flow is the most important ingredient. It contains amylose and amylopectin as a starch, lutein as a protein, and lipid. We need to have a brief description on how bread is made. It involves mixing of ingredients and kneading to form a dough. The dough will rise and ferment, and lastly, baking. Crumb is the inner and cross is the outer side. Due to different substrate in the flow, a single type of enzyme cannot transform a dough to bread, so it involves application of different enzymes. Have you ever asked or know why some bread are better than others? More taste, texture, appearance, shelf life, and nutritive value? For more video notification, subscribe to Easy Food Science and Tech. Use of appropriate enzyme combination and ratio is the answer. What are these enzymes? They include amylase, protease, lipase, fetase. Complex transformation is involved in bread process. For we to understand their role and importance fully, let's ask ourselves what will happen if these enzymes are not applied. The dough will not rise. Amylase breaks down the starch into simple sugar, and this sugar is used by the yeast to produce CO2 gas, which is trapped by the gluten structure. In some situations, the CO2 will escape as a result of poor and weak gluten network. Proteas help in developing of strong gluten network and structure, which the CO2 produced is trapped completely. The bread shape is formed and the volume is increased. Without enzymes, the dough will be too hard and sticky. Amylase, protease, and lipase act upon their respective substrate, which causes transformation and modification in the dough and result in soft and stickless dough. Mixing and kneading time is also reduced. Ease in handling molding, cutting, and shaping of the dough. Therefore, if you are troubled with hard and sticky dough, you are advised to add amylase, protease, and lipase. For more video notification, subscribe to Easy Food Science and Tech. Sometimes you observe your bread is dusty in the inner side, no air space or pore structure. This is caused when less or no amylase and protease are applied. Therefore, Amylase and protease prevent your bread to be dusty or too much crumbly. Some bread are flavorless, no aroma and taste. Lipase enzyme is responsible for giving a bread good flavor, so always apply lipase if you need a flavored bread. Does enzymes improve nutritional value of bread? The answer is yes. One of the challenges of whole bread is presence is presence of antinutrient called pitin. It prevents the absorption of important minerals and the human intestine like the enzymes. Enzyme pitates break down the pitate, thereby the nutritional quality is increased. Bread spoilage can be called stalling. The texture, flavor, color and freshness are lost, and the shelf life is reduced also. Stalling of bread is, a, is, a, is as a result of moisture absorption by the starch, starch gluten reaction, and starch retrogression, meaning that the starch is a major player in bread stalling. Amylase has proved to reduce bread stalling by breaking down the starch into smaller and shorter chains, which reduces bread stalling. Therefore, application of amylase can maintain the freshness, color, taste, texture, and shelf life of bread. 
for more video notification subscribe to easy food science and